In this week's Final Cut Friday, I show you how to create better looking Instagram stories using a dedicated camera in Final Cut Pro. Check it out. So of course you can just use your iPhone to create Instagram stories easily, but I like to use Final Cut Pro in a vertical orientation. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. First of all, you wanna create a new project. I'm just gonna call this Instagram stories. And for video, we're gonna select custom and I'm gonna set up a one to two aspect ratio in a vertical orientation. So basically portrait mode, 1920 by 3840. I'm gonna choose my frame rate and click OK. Now, of course, you can use any settings you want, but these are the settings that I use to create vertical videos in Final Cut Pro 10. All right, so you can see that vertical orientation there. So 1920 by 3840 is a one to two aspect ratio. Here's my camera setup. I have this Manfrotto tripod and I have my camera, the a7 III, with a 16 to 35 lens mounted on its side like this so that I'm able to get great looking vertical video. So the end result will look something like this, which is perfect for Instagram stories. So let's head back over to Final Cut Pro 10 and let's import that clip that we just shot into our project. So I'll set our in and out points here and then we'll insert it into the project. All right, so there we go. Now it obviously doesn't look just right. We're going to have to rotate it to make it fit this project. So to do that, just go up to our inspector and we'll manually type in negative 90 for our rotation and you can see it's rotated just right. Now you wanna go down to where it says spatial conform and you wanna set the type to fill like this. And now it's just a matter of scaling out just like that and we're good. So this already looks way better than the video we get if we shot this on an iPhone. Um, so now it's just a matter of cutting down, uh, trimming the video, making any edits we need to make, and we're gonna add a transition between the Galaxy Buds and the AirPods. So I think that looks like a pretty nice transition. Yeah, I really like that. So let's trim the beginning of the video a little bit more. So it's more balanced between the Galaxy Buds and the AirPods. So we'll just trim over like that. So now we just wanna add a call to action. And again, you can do this within Instagram itself, but I like to do it all within Final Cut Pro 10, or at least as much as I can, because you really have just so many more tools and options and flexibility when you do it in Final Cut Pro. All right, so there's my title, and I'm just gonna type in here, swipe up for more that call to action, we'll change the text size and we'll drag it up a little bit so it's not covering our subject. And that looks great. So now let's show our video animation for our title. And we're gonna open up the opacity and we're just gonna drag like this to add a fade in and drag out like that to add a fade out. So that looks even better for our call to action. And now we'll add some music to the timeline and record a brief voiceover. So let's do that now. How's it going ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. We've compared the Galaxy Buds with the Apple AirPods. Go ahead and swipe up now for more. All right, so we're almost there. We're almost finished. Now we just wanna trim up the voiceover here. And now it's just time to export. So I'm gonna choose just a normal export file. And uh, for settings, you just leave it all default. I changed it to H.264, so it's gonna be a smaller file, obviously. I'm gonna click Next, and I'm just gonna name it Instagram Stories, Galaxy Buds versus AirPods. All right, so we'll export and show you the final product. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. We've compared the Galaxy Buds with the Apple AirPods. Go ahead and swipe up now for more. All right, so now I'm just going to airdrop this video to my iPhone, and then I'm gonna use my iPhone to add that video to my Instagram stories. So airdrop it, go ahead and click the phone, and it's sent. All right, now let's head over to our iPhone and add this video to Instagram stories. So I've already added the video there. Now it's just a matter of adding a URL. Obviously not everyone has access to this. You have to have a certain number of subscribers before you, I think it's 10,000 subscribers before you can add links. 
Uh, but you can still use stories. You don't have to have uh, the ability to add links, but I like it because it allows me to advertise our videos or send out teasers of our videos and then users can watch the teaser and swipe up to be taken directly to the post of 9to5Mac. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how I use a standalone camera with Final Cut Pro 10 to create better looking Instagram stories. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.